Sometimes house plants can be a little fussy, particularly this one. Let me show you how to cure it. I have to say the ficus tree is one of my favorite house plants. You see them everywhere in office buildings, hospitals, and even homes. And this is one of my favorites. It's a variegated one. But just notice I'm about to place it in its favorite place, which is right here on this antique table. And I've got a little pad there to make sure that this bowl doesn't scratch the table or I don't get condensation under here and cause a ring on the table. Now, what's interesting about this plant is that if you follow a few basic rules of thumb, it will stay fresh and healthy. Let's talk about watering first. This plant does not like to dry out. And the way to figure out whether it's too dry or not is to stick your finger in the soil one inch. If your finger is dry at one inch in the soil, you need to water this plant, okay? Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna begin to see some yellowing leaves. Now, the other thing that this plant really likes is filtered light. No indirect light at all, because you'll burn it up. So you wanna be able to at least see your shadow. So I'm standing in the way of the light and you can see my shadow back here on the wall. That's an indicator that this plant is going to do well in this amount of intensity of light. Now, humidity is also very important. The fact that it's by this door in the summer, it gets plenty of humidity with the door opening and closing. But in the winter, well, that's a different story. So what I've done is I've taken this bowl, I've placed the plant inside the bowl, it's not planted in this, and I've lined it with moss. I keep the moss moist, not the soil around the roots. What happens is, is the water evaporates from the moss, it rises up and bathes the underside of the leaves with moisture. That helps with the humidity. Now it's important to realize when feeding a ficus is that they're not really heavy feeders. These things don't flower, so they don't really require a lot of fertilizer. But what you wanna do is fertilize them once a month with a water-soluble fertilizer, all right? You want it diluted down and do it once a month. And that's really all this plant needs to stay healthy and green. The other thing to remember is that if you start moving them around, for instance, if I took this plant and I moved it down the hall or in another room and I changed the light, you're gonna get defoliation of the leaves. But typically, if you've got the light right and you're following all the other things that I just told you about its care, it will produce new leaves and it will readjust to its new location. Now, if you're finding these tips helpful, make sure you share them with a friend and subscribe to eHow Home.